In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 things that Americans will find weird about Germany. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 things that Americans may find weird when they come to Germany. Now, when you come to Germany, you expect to see certain things. You expect to see lederhosen and bratwurst and schnitzel and all kinds of things like that that you see on TV. And all of that is pretty true. Now, I have never seen anyone just walking around wearing lederhosen when it was an Oktoberfest, but it could happen. But when I moved here the first time and when I moved back here, there were a few things that I found a little weird and you might too. The first thing I find to be a little weird is met. Now, I'm not saying met isn't good because I haven't tried it. I've been told by friends that it's delicious and I will try it, but I haven't tried it yet. Now, met is raw minced pork with seasonings and it's usually eaten on bread or uh, brochet. The Germans love it and I'm sure it's good. I just haven't had a chance to try it because I find it a little weird to eat raw pork. Um, I've always been taught that you know, you gotta cook a pork, you gotta cook pork to a certain temperature or you're gonna get salmonella. Make no mistake though, it is on my list to try. I just haven't done it yet. Now this may be 1A, but I'm calling it number two. It goes along with Met. It's called the Metigal. Uh, so a, a Metigal is a, basically a pork hedgehog. It's made out of Met and it's shaped in the form of a hedgehog. And they put either onion ring, onions in it to make it look like the spikes of a hedgehog or sometimes they put pretzels, uh, as you can tell by these pictures. It's really weird, um, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I saw this, I was like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But, you know, it's Met and they love that. So, so you may want to try a Metigal if you ever come here. Um, I don't know. The thought of eating raw pork shaped like a hedgehog isn't exactly uh, high on my list of things to run out and try, but you know, when in Rome, you do as the Romans, right? The third thing that I find weird is Germans will always tell you, you need to try quark. You need to try quark, it's good, it's healthy, it's good for you. You put it on bread, da 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 da, you need to try quark. And I'm like, okay, cool, what is quark? And they can't ever tell me. Well, quark is quark, quark. Quark, Q-U-A-R-K, quark, I can't ever say it. Quark is quark. You just need to try it, it's quark. If you say, if you ask, is it cream cheese? They will tell you no. So apparently it's not cream cheese, but nobody can explain what it is. So I find that a little weird, and maybe you do too. If you know what quark is, leave me a comment below, let me know. Because I've been dying to know what quark is, and no German can tell me. So I don't know. Uh, your guess is as good as mine what quark is. Now the fourth thing that isn't so weird, but it's something you might not expect, is that if you're coming for Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest doesn't start in October. It starts in September. Oktoberfest officially begins the second to last Saturday in September at noon, when the mayor of Munich taps the first barrel at the Schattenhammel tent and cries, Ozapt is. I don't know, I guess it means it's open. So if you're coming to Oktoberfest, don't plan your trip in like the middle of October because it'll be over. It ends the first Sunday of October following German Reunification Day. The fifth thing that you might find a little weird, and it's not that common anymore, I'll admit it. When I was here back in the early 2000s, it was a lot more common, so I don't know how common it is now, but you might run into the poop shelf. And don't be surprised if you do run into a poop shelf. So what the poop shelf is, is if you look at a toilet, it'll have this little ledge where, yeah, it just sits there. And you have to flush it and it goes down, but it just kind of sits there. This may be the low point of my channel, poop shelves. Be on the lookout for poop shelves. The sixth thing that is different here than in the US and you may find it a little weird is the multicolors of trash cans that you'll see. And you'll, if you live here, you'll have to get used to. I wanna say there are like six trash cans 
with paper and plastic and different glasses and way like refuse from the kitchen and you need to learn where everything goes and put it in the right thing or you're gonna get yelled at by your apartment people. So make sure if you move here that you get to know which trash can is which and what goes in each trash can. I learned that the hard way. We get these plastic bags, like garbage bags that you put plastic in and make sure you don't put paper in there or you'll get a note on your door that says don't put paper in here. So yeah, don't do that. The seventh thing that Americans may find a little weird that you may see in a grocery store is this. I don't know what this is and frankly, I don't wanna know and we're not gonna talk about it. If you know what this is, comment down below. Now the eighth thing that if you come to Bavaria in particular, you may find a little weird is the Weisswurst Frühstück. That's the white sausage breakfast. The Weisswurst Frühstück consists of white sausage, these Bavarian white sausages, a pretzel, and beer. So normally it'd be a little weird if you drink beer in the morning, in my humble opinion, but it's perfectly acceptable if you have a beer with a Weisswurst Frühstück. A ninth thing you might find a little weird here in Germany is the use of the word bitte. So bitte means thank you, danke schön, bitte schön means thank you, but it could also mean bitte, pardon, bitte. Would you like another beer? Bitte, it can mean please. It can mean bitte, go right ahead. It can mean bitte, here you go, bitte. Are you hurt, bitte? Not at all, bitte. This is good. That could also mean bitte. Now the 10th thing you might find a little bit weird when coming to Germany is having to pay for water. And not only having to pay for water, and you have to be specific about the type of water, because if you just ask for Vasa, you're gonna get bubbly water. You're gonna get mineral Vasa. But, so if you want water without bubbles, if you want still water, you have to ask for Tafelwasa or Stillwasa, Stillwasa. So just make sure if you just ask for water, you're gonna get mineral Vasa. Okay, so be ready for that. And if you're like me, I don't like mineral water. So I always have to make sure to ask for Tafelwasa. Now these are just 10 things you might find weird when you come here to Germany. So there are many more. If you found anything weird on your journeys here to Germany, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon so you'll get noticed when I post new videos. Until next time guys, I will see you later.